Good morning, everybody. Today we are going to learn about endoskeletons and exoskeletons with a focus on mammals and arthropods. Have you ever wondered what an endoskeleton is? Endoskeletons are interior skeletons that grow inside of animals and protect internal organs. People and other mammals have endoskeletons. Here is an example of an endoskeleton. This is a human skeleton. Some people think that our bones are dead, but they are actually living tissues that grow as we grow. Bones also provide support for our bodies and protect our internal organs, such as our brains, our heart, and our lungs. Mammals feed milk to their young and usually have hair or fur. Dogs are mammals. People are also mammals. Have you ever wondered what an exoskeleton is? An exoskeleton is an exterior skeleton that grows on the outside of animals and protects their soft interior bodies. Arthropods are animals that have exoskeletons, segmented bodies, and jointed legs. Their segmented bodies contain the head, the thorax, and abdomen. A common misconception is that insects are not animals, but they are arthropods, which makes them animals. Arthropods exoskeletons are made of chitin and they lock in moisture. They do not grow with arthropods, so when their exoskeletons become too small, the arthropods molt. That means that they lose their exoskeletons by slipping out of them and replace them with new ones. And here we see a cicada molting from its prior exoskeleton. There are five major groups of arthropods, crustaceans, arachnids, centipedes, millipedes, and insects. Here we have some examples of mammals and arthropods. These are the endoskeletons of a horse, a dog, and a person. And over here, we have the molted exoskeletons of a horseshoe crab, a cicada, and a grasshopper. Mammals can grow very large because their endoskeletons are able to support large amounts of weight. Two examples are whales and elephants. Arthropods remain small because their endoskeletons are very heavy for their size. Here is a common stag beetle, and you can see the comparison with the size that a person would be. This is a suit of armor that a knight would have worn many, many years ago. Wearing an exoskeleton would be like wearing a suit of armor. Have you ever wondered what it would be like to wear a suit of armor? They are very heavy and limit movement. However, they do provide protection for soft tissue. Endoskeletons allow mammals to move freely without the weight restrictions and limited movement of exoskeletons. Here you can see running horses. They can flex and turn very, very quickly. Here are two acrobats and you can see this acrobat bending backwards. An exoskeleton would not allow that type of movement. One technology that you'll use to further your learning about arthropods is the arthropod story from the website evolution.berkeley.edu. It is an interactive website where you will compare characteristics of arthropods and animals with endoskeletons. Another technology that you'll use is Skeleton and Bones from the website sciencekids.co.nz. Here you will explore the different bones for different types of animals. Some are endoskeletons and some are exoskeletons. Here are my references.